Hello and welcome. This is a Construct 3 or Construct 2 uh, tutorial on how to make a classic brick breaker uh, or breakout game. Uh, this is what the final product is going to look like. I will play it. Ready? Go! Got some voice in there, some audio sound effects. Uh, our ball is able to move around the screen and bounce off objects, change directions. Our paddle there at the bottom has movement, left and right. Uh, we got a background, really fancy background as you can see there. Uh, everything is made inside of Construct 3. I am working on the paid uh, subscription version of Construct 3, but that is okay. If you have uh, a free trial version of Construct 3 or Construct 2, that will work just fine. And let's go ahead and just start making this game. I'm going to start a new project, and I'm going to name it Brick Breaker. You can name yours whatever you want. I'm going to go with this, uh, let's see, that's landscape. I want the portrait. So a 9 by 16 ratio. That's going to put us at a 480 by 854. That looks good. I'm going to create it. So a couple of things about this tutorial. If you are working on a free trial version of either Construct 2 or 3, uh, it's not going to look like this. I have uh, the dark theme enacted here. It's just easier on my eyes, but it has nothing to do with how uh, the performance of the game engine or the game itself once you make it. Some of the things that I'll be doing is adding subfolders over here to our uh, object types. Um, that's for organization purposes. If you have the free version, you won't will not be able to make subfolders. Also, the the layout of the interface here is going to look different. Uh, you won't have access to the Z order. It still exists, you just you can't manipulate it or uh, view it uh, in a tab like this. Not that big of a deal. In layers, the free version can only have two layers. And I believe I'll probably fit everything on two layers in this game, which uh, will work out just fine. Oh, families. Uh, I believe that I do use a family, but you do not have access to families in the free trial versions. Also not a big deal. I will explain how to do some of the things we're going to do without families. And I think that might be all I need to cover on that. So let's jump over here in my properties tab. If I click anywhere on the layout, I get the layout properties. If I go down here to project properties, that brings this up and I can see there's my viewport size, that's what we set up in the beginning, 480 by 854. I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to Control c to copy, and then click anywhere on my layout view, and pick the size, highlight the size, and paste. Control v to paste, hit Enter, and that changes our layout, which is this whole area. All of this is our layout. It changes it to the same size as our viewport, which is that if you can see that white dotted line that goes around because that's all the space we're going to need to create this game it's just one screen and that gets the project set up so let's go back over to layers and I'm going to right click and add another layer and I'm just going to type in game that's going to be my game layer then I'm going to click on this other one and I'm going to call it background now make sure that the background layer is on the bottom and game is on top. And with the background layer highlighted, let's double click anywhere inside the layout. And I'm going to choose Sprite, click anywhere to place it. Let's change the size to the size of the layout, which is 480 by 854. Zoom out here. That's the same size as our viewport or layout size, size of the game click on the origin tool here and come over here right click on that and let's choose top left then pick our fill tool and 
I'm going to click on the black or come up here on this uh, color palette and choose uh, very bottom left or right. That'll give you your black and I'm going to go a pretty dark grayish color. Maybe, maybe right there. I'm going to fill it and I believe that'll do it. Let's X out of that. Now here's our sprite that we created. With the sprite selected, I'm going to go to position, highlight it, and just type in 0, 0. And that puts us uh, perfectly in place. Click out, and now you can see it. Uh, click on game, your game layer, and go over. Make sure that transparent is uh, has the check mark in it. And same thing with background. Just go ahead and make it transparent just because. So this, uh, and we're back here highlighted on background, but this is our sprite. Now let's go ahead, select the sprite, and come up here and rename it. And I'm just going to call it background. There we go. I also want to add an effect. So let's go over here to effect, uh, hit, click that button, add a new effect, and scroll down to vignette. Highlight it, add it, X out. Now over here in the properties, we can manipulate the vignette. And I'm going to go with a 25% start radius and 75% end radius. That should do it. And that's what I want. That's our fancy background. Uh, feel free to put any kind of background you want. I just do this so that it's not a plain black or dark gray background and gives us a chance to uh, mess with the sprite editor as well. Okay, I'm going to click on my projects tab so I can see what's going on. Over here on object types, I'm going to set up some subfolders. Again, if you do not, or if you do have the free version, you won't be able to set up these subfolders. Not a big deal. Everything's just going to be in this one folder. If you do have the option of adding a subfolder, let's go ahead, right click on the folder object types and add a subfolder. I'm going to call this sprites. I'm going to add another subfolder and I'm going to call it text. And one more, I'm going to call this meta. All right, I'm going to drag my background sprite into sprites. And I'll close it. Looks good. All right, so that is the introduction to this course. In the next few videos, we will uh, make some sprites, and then we'll code the game. And it won't take very long. It's a very easy, very simple game. Good for those who are new to the Construct game engine, or new to programming in general. Uh, while there is no written code in the game, it works as if you are coding with the fundamentals of programming, which is one of the reasons I really like the Construct Game Engine. Uh, you can prototype games very fast, or if you just you don't know a programming language, you can still make full-scale games in it. So I'm going to leave it there for this video. In the next video, we're going to make all the sprites, and I will see you there.